As you can see, I've put it onto the solder pads rather than the pin holes. The pin holes are for when you put on a little micro plug in on there. You solder the actual pin holes to that when you put a plug on there. And these are the solder pads, and the solder pads correspond to each one in front of it. And then on the back is where you're just going to connect the usual power to the, one of these 5808 modules. And that, of course, is your 5 volt at the bottom. And your third pin up from the bottom is ground. Okay? All right. So we can whack some power on this now. We'll actually just plug in the version 2 ST link that I got here off eBay. Three bucks fifty or something. Took two weeks to get here, but I've got it. So let's flash this Esheen Pro 58 that's got the shit firmware on it. Let's put on some good firmware that's been supplied by Pio Dabro um, from RC Groups. He's done the work for this. So I'll have all the links in the description. But let's go ahead and flash this and see what happens. So once you have downloaded your drivers for your ST link and you know you're set to go. Plug her in. She should boot up for the last time <clears throat> into the Ichi firmware. And now we can go into the ST Link utility software, put in the bin file that we've downloaded from GitHub, thanks to good old Pio Dabro, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Pio Dabro. And let's flash. Okay, guys, well, I have cheated and already done this, but we'll show you again. Just go and open up your bin file that you've downloaded from GitHub. Once you've opened it, you want to then go and connect. Now, don't worry about the little bit of red light writing at the bottom of my text box here. That little bit of red writing is because I made a mistake, but just go connect. Then you want to go back up into target again. Once you've connected, so here we go, back in the target again. Go down to the options setting there. In here, you want to make sure that's disabled. And then all we do literally is program and verify. And I'll just do a reflash of it. So just remember to make sure you've got the right file in. So read where the file's coming from. And there it is there. So, so you're happy with that. And just press start. And that'll flash it. Okay. There we go. That's how quick it flashes. And job done. Okay. So once we've done that, this is what it looks like when it reboots up. Have fun going through your new bit of firmware. There's a couple of videos on this particular firmware to show you how to use it. Or just experiment like I did. Have a play. It's not that hard. Don't forget, you've got to calibrate. Okay, guys, that was just a quick uh, show and tell on how to get this Eching Pro 58 receiver functional. Um, as of last night, uh, a, a PA Dabro, PO Dabro, uh, the gentleman that rewrote this firmware or ported another fellow's for, uh, firmware to this particular receiver, he has since then uh, been working on version two. There was a couple of bugs in the firmware that he had left in or didn't realize they were in, and he is attending to them now, apparently. So that version one firmware there, which I've linked to, 
can definitely get you up and running and this is now safe to use. It will uh, switch between antennas and stay locked to the antenna that has the best signal. Uh, there is a little bit of a bug with the search part of the firmware at the moment and he is working on that. So go to the GitHub, download that particular file, have a shot, put it on, see it work. And if you want to wait for version two, you at least know where to go. It'll just sort of say in version one, that same link, go back a space, find version two on GitHub and download that one in the near future. But it definitely does fix the diversity problem that this Eugene Pro 58 came out with. So give it a shot. Hope that helped. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I just like thumbs, so I don't care what sort of thumb. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, thanks heaps.